This month we're talking about calling and capacity. We're going to start off by kind of looking back at where we've been and how our calling and capacity moves us forward. So last week, we finished up our conversation about Whole City, mm -hmm. and we really landed on this idea that the most effective and the most Christ-like posture for the church in the city is to be in loving and faithful presence. Yeah. That uh, transforming the city for the gospel um, is really about being faithfully present in all of these channels of culture and loving the city in the place that you are. Right. And so now, the next four months, we're going to be moving into kind of a discussion about how do we do that. Uh, Which is really great because it demands four months worth of sort of figuring out what does that mean? How do right. we actually live out this faithful presence? Right, it's really easy to say that Right. But there's a lot to explore there. Yeah. So uh, over the next month and then months following that, uh, we're going to be really yeah. exploring that question. Yeah, that's right. It's a good way for us to kind of summarize where we've been. That's why we started the conversation way back on common union. You know, we have this whole church perspective. We know that we have a common mission. <clears throat> we have this whole gospel perspective plus a whole person and a whole city perspective. And sort of what does that all mean if we don't actually put it into action? And we have three questions that we wrestle with pretty regularly around here. Um, and that is, what kind of city would God build if he started from scratch? What are the needs and dreams of our city? And then lastly, what is the church's individual and whole um, calling and capacity? But we feel like those three questions are just a great way of saying, here's what we've learned about what we know is true that God's doing who we are in Christ together on a mission located in Evansville at this time in history um, for the good of whole persons in our entire city. And so those three questions, and we'll really explore that last question a lot over the next four months. And the reason we're doing that is because at the intersection of those questions, and really the answers to those questions, is where we think everybody can work together. Um, and definitely where the church should be working together because it's what our city needs, it's what God wants for our city, it's what we're able to do. And right. so we should. And, right. And uh, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because we want to live in a flourishing city. Right. Uh, one that reflects God's heart and seeing the kingdom of heaven coming to Evansville. Right. Yeah, and those first two questions we've spent a lot of time addressing. Right. What is God's design for the city mm -hmm. and what are... Evansville's needs and dreams and how do we learn more about what those needs and dreams are right so um, diving into this third question will kind of complete that picture for us right with the realization that it will take the whole church kind of working together to make that a reality